Hello, hello. If you are watching right now, you're watching the replay, so say hello and tell me where you're from. Hey, hey. So this is kind of a surprise live. I didn't know I was coming on. I'm not looking my prettiest, but you know what? Y'all love me anyway. Y'all love me anyway, but I'm getting out some chalk markers right now so I can show you how to letter on some boards. I'm opening up a new pack because mine have been used and used and used and used. So it's time to get a fresh batch. I don't know if y'all know much about Crafty Croc chalk markers, but they come with um, this cute little set of labels and a couple extra nibs, which if you don't know about their nibs, they're double-sided too. I didn't get on here to talk about those. So I just happen to like them, so I'm gonna show you. See how it has the chisel tip and the round tip? Y'all say hi as you come on. Who's up tonight? Who is up and ready to roll? <laughs> well, I certainly am. Hi, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you won't believe what I just did. I just got myself a cup of coffee. My new mug. Can you believe I'm drinking coffee? That's the worst thing I could do right now because the other night it was like three in the morning and I was still awake because I had coffee and I'm not like this big coffee person, but I'm pretty already wired. So why not just add to it, right? I mean, I've got so much to do and um, I have, I'm doing a sale tomorrow, a, um, a sale at Laurel and Cotton, which is in Bullard, Texas. If you're around this area at all. So, not tomorrow, did I say tomorrow? I mean Saturday. Saturday! Who else is here? Y'all say hi. I can't see, it won't let me see how many people are here, or who's here, or, so I don't wanna be by myself. Okay, so I'm just gonna obviously pick out the colors for the holidays, and this is what my sign looked like when I did it for the Penners Conference that a lot of you helped me, help me, y'all help me, watch me through it. And so, um, hi Tina, how are you girl? If y'all think it's a bad idea for me to drink coffee right now, just tell me, tell me to stop. Okay, so, one of the biggest struggles people have with getting chalk off the chalkboard if it's been sitting there for a while, is, hi Mickey, hello, hello, is um, it stains or whatever. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to get some water and put it on, this is, whoops, hello, and pour it all over the place, because that's that helps, right? This didn't look like it's gonna come off at all. I mean, like, literally, it's not moving. Ha, huh. sometimes that happens. It's not usually the marker's fault. It's usually the surface that you put it on. So now I'm gonna try my next step. That is like not going anywhere. Is the, um, that is a magic eraser. So if this doesn't work, we're gonna move on to the next chalkboard. How about that? Oh wait, somebody else told me, last time we talked about this, uh, somebody told me, hi Kim some other ideas, some other things that you can use to get it off. Does, it, does anybody remember what that was? Surely baby oil is not right, because for some reason I was just thinking baby oil. Look, that's not going anywhere. It's almost like I used paint markers on them, but I didn't. It's chalk. Okay, we're going to go to board number two. Board number two. either. What have I done? Y'all, maybe I really did use paint markers. Maybe that was my plan all along to keep it on here. Let me get my paper towels. Look, that's just not wanting to come off very easy. Okay, next. Next. I really got this on here. Look at that. that was, that's pretty thick. Ah! Okay. Y'all, this is not looking good. Not at all. <laughs> Do y'all think I use chalk paint markers? Look, I can't even scratch that off. Barely. I don't think so. 
Oh, you do? Well, here's my recommendation about chalk markers. As soon as you're done with the party, wipe it off because it's hard to get off. And I'm, I'm just, the white's coming off, the white's coming off on here easy, but I don't know what's happening with the rest. But again, this has happened with all the chalk markers I've used. Anybody else have a trick? Because I got to get this off here. I need to use these. Now this one's wanting to come off. See how that's coming off? I don't know. Maybe I need to put more elbow grease into it. I don't like scrubbing pots and pans. This is kind of like that. I was like, hubby, please, please scrub these pots and pans. I can't do it. <laughs> if it takes a lot of elbow grease, I'm not very good at it. But this one's coming off, so yay. What's y'all's tricks? Do y'all know any tricks? I have not tried alcohol. Is that gonna work? I've got some right beside me. Is that gonna do it? We'll try that next. But I know this is a common thing that people um, have problems with and get frustrated with. So I like to come on here and talk about it so we can walk through it together and you don't feel like you're alone and your life is over. <laughs> coffee. Do I need to stop? Okay. Now I've got some alcohol. This is 91% isoprofic. Is that okay? Is that good or bad? Or I don't know what that means. Oh my gosh, look. Look! <laughs> Elizabeth Rhodes, you are you're even more brilliant than I already thought you were. I mean, look at that, y'all. You need to follow Elizabeth Road Studio because she is going to rock your world. She is my buddy. <laughs> Golly, that was nice. I just really want to check these other ones that, are, that really don't want to come off. Let's see if it works on those. Okay. It's not the best, but it's, it's coming. It's working. Who else is on here? Y'all say hi. Say hello. Don't be shy. Okay, more alcohol. Come on now. I'm counting on you. Look, it's coming off. <laughs> I'm so happy. Y'all know how disappointing it is? when it just doesn't, things don't go your way, it slows you down. Well, I'm not letting that happen to me. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm doing a show, like a little craft fair, like a little, it's in a studio, one of my friend's studios. It's called Laurel and Cotton. She sells Christian t-shirts and other stuff. I don't know, Elizabeth, if you knew, but she's got some little kimonos and shoes and jewelry, super cute stuff. So if you're in the East Texas area, this is in Bullard, right down the road from Flint Baptist Church. So it is not far. Um, so you should come on out and see us. If you are in at the four-way stop in Flint and you go towards Flint Baptist, you'll take a left right there beside uh, Flint Baptist and go three miles. So, ooh, I'm making a mess. Oh, I'm so happy. <gasps> so happy. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know I was going to come on tonight, and tomorrow I've got to set up for this sale. And so I thought, well, I like to visit with people while I'm working. Do y'all like to do that when you're crafting? It's just you kind of want to talk to someone and you don't be alone. I mean, it's it depends on what I'm doing, but like this is kind of mindless. So I don't. If I'm designing, it's very hard to visit. I like to sit and get my thoughts together and design. Try what? Or is, that, or is that a delayed message from Elizabeth? It says try it. I mean, I already forgot what I was talking about. Anyway, designing and uh, talking at the same time is hard. But doing this is fun. Having friends. Sometimes it doesn't come off. 
you just paint over it. That's a great idea. Um, yeah, some of them are harder than others, but that magic eraser has always worked for me. That's why I was kind of surprised. See, look, it's the alcohol got it started, and then this just really took it off good. So I don't know. I guess it's teamwork. They like each other. We want to work together. So Elizabeth came into my group tonight, and she taught bow making. She taught us how to do bow making in my Be The Light Tribe. And yes, we do a lot more than hand letter. And if you see behind me, my tribe opens in January. January 15th, put it on your calendar. And if you're not on the wait list, go here to Craft With Christy. And, um, and then uh, you can get on the wait list. So it'll remind you when we, when I'm going, when I'm signing, when I'm allowing new people in. Higher percentage just means it'll evaporate faster. I think that's what I've read. Oh, huh. I've always wondered why they have the different, the different kinds of alcohol. I've always wondered that. Always. By the way, hi, Leslie. How are you? So, are y'all getting ready for Christmas? I mean, I know, I know, I know. You're like, some of you are like, okay, I'm not even to Thanksgiving. I don't even want to talk about Christmas. But y'all, Christmas is magical. And Elizabeth Rhodes Studio on here, or Elizabeth Moore Rhodes, <laughs> she already has all of her Christmas up, y'all. Did you not post a picture of that, Elizabeth? Because you need to. If you haven't posted it, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. When she came in my group a minute ago, or a little bit ago, she had her fire going on the TV. She had her Christmas lights on, her Christmas tree up. It was beautiful. This one's not wanting to do as good. Maybe I need to put alcohol on the magic eraser. try that. Yeah, I've also scrubbed them so hard it takes the paint off. Oh, look, that did good. Oh, look, that's it. That's the key. <laughs> that's the magic combination. Sorry if that doesn't, sorry if that bothers y'all. So, um, have y'all been making stuff for Christmas gifts? Or are you really just wanting to get through Thanksgiving. Oh, and I've got to know, where are y'all shopping for uh, Black Friday? Because I need some ideas. What are y'all Black Friday shoppers? I'm, I mean, I'm not going in a store. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I'm asking you. Y'all, I can't believe this came clean. I thought there was no hope. I'm asking you online where to shop Black Friday. Because I will not go with crazy people. If you're one of those crazy people, you do you. <laughs> but I can't do it. Oh, it just makes me crazy. Crazy. Where'd that go? Okay, y'all tell me where you're going to shop. I love Black Friday shopping from home. I love shopping, period, from home. But, and I was thinking about Black Friday. I was like, hmm, maybe I should run some specials. What should I do? What should I do? But I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Because most people are, are going to be shopping for other stuff. Oh, I know something I could do. Hmm. Y'all stay tuned. Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, set alarm for 10 p.m. Alexa, set alarm for 10 p.m. She's kind of slow today. She needs some coffee. I'm gonna regret this at three in the morning. Y'all need to like get on and message me at three. We'll be chatting it up. Looks like I have a mustache because there's a shadow right here. 
but that's better than seeing me with full light on, I promise. <laughs> All right, so now, hey, look, this is a clean slate. I'm super, super pumped and excited. Thank you for the tips, y'all are magnificent. Okay, if you are um, from this area also, I don't know if you knew, but I'm doing mistletoe magic. So I have all my ornaments. Have y'all seen the million bajillion ornaments I've made? They've been so fun, but it's been a lot of work, but I love it. And um, I showed you my mugs, and I've done some of those round disc signs. Have you seen those? Y'all keep looking. Keep a looking. All right, so this sign is going to be for my... I'm, I'm going to... Okay, one thing I want people to know is that I do online classes, and so what I need to do is make a sign. Would you like to learn how to hand letter or something? Do you know, do you know something shorter I could say? Want to hand letter? Learn lettering. Hmm. What is something I could write that if you were at my booth and you were looking and you were, you were lacking my stuff and you were thinking, oh, I wish I could do that. What would catch your attention? Cause I want people to know they can do it. I mean, and I also have my book there, but they won't know it's my book. Like people come and they don't realize it's my book. And when they know it's my book, they usually want to buy it because they like to meet the person whose book it is. So that's always good. So um, another thing that someone told me today is that I should have a sign that says um, something about signed copies or have your book signed or something like that so they know it's my book. I feel sometimes weird. Like people ask me to sign their book. They do. But for me to say, do you want me to autograph your book? I don't know. It just seems weird. It's like, who do I think I am? I'm going to autograph your book. So y'all tell me tips on that too. I don't know. All I know is that y'all are so quiet. So I'm getting my, my markers primed and pumped. Pumped and primed. Actually, I'm mostly just priming, but not, I need to pump a couple times, I guess. Look at that green. It's kind of a lime color. It's really vibrant. I like it. What are you putting on your signs? Elizabeth, I need help with this. Okay, so on my sign, I want people to know that I teach hand lettering, but I don't want to say, I teach hand lettering. I want them to, I want it to say something like, you know, do you want to learn how to hand letter? Because they're going to see my stuff. And then I want them to think they can do it too. Um, so what should I write? How could I write it that's simpler than... Want to learn how to letter? I don't, uh, that's probably the, the shortest I can make it. Okay, be thinking about that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to work on a different sign. Oh, what if I put you can letter too? Would that work? You can letter too? Hmm. I don't know. Help. <laughs> I need your creative mind. Okay, I'm going to do the mugs on this one. Mugs. Mugs. Is there another better word for mugs? Red doesn't always write good on stuff. Do what it does in here. What if you have troubles making straight lines? Have y'all ever seen my tip for that? It was in your Facebook Live last night. What was? What am I missing here? Um, the alcohol? A laser level. I oh, can't see it on here. Probably because there's so much light. Anyway, can you kind of see that sort of? See that? See that? You do on paper, it works good because it's flat. And this is a little bit harder. So mugs. $12 each or I 
I don't like how see-through that is. I gotta work on that. Hi, Susan. Are you ready for our sale? Susan's gonna be there. Susan's gonna be there with her wonderful watercolor creations. I don't like that. Beautiful watercolor pieces. I sold two ornaments tonight. I just um, I just put them on Etsy. You don't even like to go shopping, Lucia. You don't, Lucia. Oh, you mean in person? Because I know you like to shop, girl. Two, four. Are y'all gonna come? Are you and Ken gonna come to our sale again? Didn't y'all come last year? I think I remember. Green 12 looks pitiful. I don't think I shook it up good enough. But we can fix that. Amazon. Best Buy and Sam's Club. Oh, you were talking about... I am so. I feel so lost. Uh, you were talking to... About the best places to shop for... Black Friday? That's what y'all talked about last night? That I missed? makes it really hard on here because when you're looking at comments like it's so it's delayed so people are answering questions that you asked like 30 minutes ago not really <laughs> but you know what I mean like my thoughts moved on and I'm like I don't even know what I said a minute ago okay so we're just gonna do the white I like the way the white looks better anyway so I was gonna do $12 or two for 20 so I hand lettered my mugs and I only have one right here with me when I say hand lettered I mean I did the lettering and had it printed on there I didn't hand letter each one but here's my I wish I could show you in the other picture I could show it big real quick okay look at that my Jesus is the reason for the season let's put it here <laughs> I don't have my other one in here though I um the other mug is in the other room but it's a real thick big mug Yes, I saw that earlier where you sometimes you paint over it with the black chalk paint. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so there's my mug sign. It's not very pretty, so we probably should add some holly to it like I do everything else. Holly, holly leaves. Yeah, holly leaves. But this has got to get, it's got to make me happy. Hey, Christy. I am so glad to catch you also. I just decided on the spur of a moment to go live because I was like, I gotta make these signs. I might as well talk to my friends. I was just asking them what um what, what is everybody gonna where is everybody gonna shop for Black Friday? And what are you gonna shop for? And I am more are y'all online shoppers or are y'all in person shoppers? I have another green marker and it's not this watery. So I guess I just haven't pumped it as good. The other one works great. So Christy, do you shop? Do you do Black Friday shopping? Oh, I think it's getting better. If so, where do you go? And what? I mean, you might not can say what's on your list. Maybe somebody's watching. <laughs> I know that my son is coming home soon and I'm excited I think he'll be home Tuesday I just have to get through Saturday though because Saturday is my sale what y'all been working on I can't stand this. I've got to go get my computer. I, I don't know who's there, if anybody's there. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to get my computer so I can see who's talking to me 
while I'm gone, I'll let you look at this. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm back. Did you miss me? Hand lettering made easy. Learn lettering. Okay, I like those. I like those. I like those. What would make you stop in your tracks and be like, oh my gosh, I've got to learn how to letter. <laughs> so these people, here's the kind of people who are going to be shopping. This is what happens. This is what I've noticed. Women of my age, or maybe even older, are shopping. They're shopping for their college daughters or whatever. And they're like, oh my gosh, my daughter would love this. My daughter would love this. And so they buy my book to give it to their daughter. But then later they think, maybe I should try it. I don't know. I mean, this happened to so many people, I can't even tell you. And they end up later coming to my class or on my online class, some have signed up for my membership group. When they thought it was, they, they thought it, they just never thought for a second that the hand lettering would be for them. It's like, it's gotta be for my daughter, someone younger. So I want people to see it and think anybody can do it. Okay, I'm looking up, where am I right now? I'm in Chris, Create with Christy. <sighs> I decided I'm gonna cut the coffee off about right here. It's already getting me a little, I'm just not a huge coffee drinker, but, but, Okay. I think there's might be, hi Robbie, learn to let her ask me. I love that. That's good. See, I didn't, oh, there you are. Okay. Hi Cynthia, want to let her, want to learn? Anyone can let her. Love that because they can. That's true. That's true. Hi Janet. You can let her too. Coffee and cocoa mug. Oh, that sounds better. Well, now you tell me. <laughs> oh, now Alexa's talking to me. Okay, I'm going to see if I can... You know when you try to squeeze stuff in, it never works. She's telling me about verbs and stuff. I don't know what I said. Coffee. Alexa, stop. Does she just get on y'all's nerves sometimes? Do you ever get mad and like tell her, shut up? <laughs> I'm not saying I've ever done that, but sometimes she just takes it too far. Ah. What'd you say? My decorated living room was on my Facebook Live last night. Oh, see how, now I have my computer. I feel like I can understand more, I don't know why. Um, man, Elizabeth's house. By the time I got on there, uh, I, the fireplace was covered up. You were doing something I couldn't see anymore. Okay, that C looks like it's almost closed up, but we can get a little Q-tip and fix, fix that up. Okay, so we're doing pretty good right now. Getting a move on it. I like y'all's ideas about what we could put on there. Um, learn to let her ask me. Anyone can let her wanna learn? I don't want to sound real salesy. Do y'all think that sounds salesy? I mean, I really literally, I want people to feel like if they want to learn, they can, but I don't want to be like, ask me, I'm going to tell you to buy my book. Da, da, da. <laughs> Does that make sense? Any sense at all? Ugh, that's not dry yet. Okay. So when this dries, I'm going to put a li some little veins in that, but that's not bad. The cocoa, that, that, that added a little bit to the top. Okay, put this to the side, and now I'm going to oh, learn to let her ask me. Anyone can hand let her want to learn. 
Hmm. Ha, Cynthia, ha, 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 ha. Cynthia, I really like that. Um, can I fit it on here? Anyone can, should it just say anyone can learn to letter? And then make them go, hmm, what does she mean by that? And then look around and be like, oh, she's got a book. Or da -da. What do y'all think? It says anyone can learn to letter, period. Is that weird? We'll see how much room I have left. How about that? I can't believe how good the red looks on here. Red is usually not the best. Okay. Is anyone one more? Yes, I did ask that question. When I'm writing, I don't even know. Sometimes I just misspell everything. Okay, anyone. Because that helps with the people who think they're too old or it needs to be for their granddaughter or whatever. Can learn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. That's funny. I could draw holly leaves all day. Because that's basically what I do. <laughs> holly leaves fix everything. Anyone can learn. Oh, look how much space I have left. Two... Letter's okay. I don't have to do hand letter, do I? I could even put modern calligraphy. Does that... No, my book says hand lettering. Okay. Anyone can learn to letter. Gifts for guys, yeah. Gifts for guys. That's so hard. What do y'all get your guys? This thing is in my way. This dilly, this little thing right here, I love it, but it's in my way. Um, you know what my husband likes? It's kind of weird. He really likes clothes and stuff. He, he can really wear anything like fashionable fashion forward or whatever like he he's just one of those people that can get away with anything like if it's like floral pants he can wear it and pull it off and so he works with the youth at our church and they actually like what he wears and you know people who are in their late 40s a lot of times youth don't think <laughs> think much of them but they do Information postcard inside all the books. I like your I like your thinking. Y'all keep on thinking. I mean, really, I probably should have put any age, any because I feel like age has something to do with it. Are any of you on here that were one of those people? Hey, Debbie, how are you? Good to see you on here, friend. I hope to see you Saturday. I saw that you're coming. Y'all, it was supposed to rain. I was really sad. And then I looked at the weather forecast and the Lord 
decided he wasn't going to let it rain. Supposedly. Hopefully not. I hope it didn't change his mind back, but that would really be hard for our people to come in the rain because it's like a pasture. Anyway, so Debbie, we are talking about Black Friday shopping and what I should write on here for people who think they can't letter. Now I'm not really sure what to put. Anyone can learn to hand letter. And then I can either put more holly leaves like I usually do or I'm going to ponder on this one. Well, let's see if I can get this stuff off of this. Where's that alcohol? I put it back in its spot on the floor. <laughs> All right. Yay. So, if you weren't on here a minute ago when we were discussing how to get chalk off of chalkboards, chalk markers off of chalkboards, um, we tried some things that didn't work, and then Elizabeth suggested alcohol. So we did alcohol, that worked good, and then at one point it didn't want to work anymore, so I did alcohol with a magic eraser, and that was like the best trick ever. So they're coming off, coming off good. But I have been there when I was frustrated and I didn't want to ever buy chalk markers again, but just know y'all, it's not the markers. Well, it could be some markers, but it's not these markers, the, the Crafty Croc that I use. I haven't had any problems with these at all, and I love, actually really love them. And I love the company. So this one needs another little run through, because it is not cleaned off good. Ooh, that one too. But my magic erasers are getting kind of nasty. Look at that. I love when they just kind of clean off. Look at that. It's beautiful. These are pretty cute. I got these on, believe it or not, guess where I got it. If Those of you who know me, where do you think I got this? It's where I get everything, Amazon. So it came with this little, this little stand. I love this. It's so fun. So it's ready to stand up. Still needs a little bit more cleaning. See, this is the problem is I get too much stuff on this magic eraser and then I'm putting it back on there. Okay, that looks good. That looks perfect. And now let's do this one. Y'all say hi if you're just popping on. Tell me what you're up to tonight. Are you who is a night owl and who goes to bed early well if you go to bed early you might not be on here this one you can really see like I'm not sure if this one's gonna come off see look I'm taking off the, the actual paint the chalk paint this is not a, a real chalkboard it is um, a painted board which a lot of them are they're just real cheap painted boards but Sometimes I can get this off to where you can't see what it says and then you can still write on it. It looks okay. But look at this. See, it's taken off the black. But anyway, these are so cheap, I could probably throw one away and it would be okay. Um, I'd rather not. I mean, I'd rather use them. But see, the, this one, this one just did not want to clean up like that one. 
Look at the difference. It's like, is that the same board? I don't get it. It's the same markers. I don't know. Luckily, I have a bunch more. I just don't have them in here. What? What was that? Okay, so I'm going to do this one. Let's see. I have my books. Um, books, 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 books. Yeah, I do need to make a postcard about my tribe and classes. Um, so I can do it either way. I'm going to do a bundle. I'm going to do lettering books. The reason I can make this so thin right here is because on the chisel tip I'm using that that fine tip right there. And then to make those thick lines then I use the wide side. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with that but We'll see. What do you do when you get to this right here? Well, you decide that that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Thank you, thank you, but look. It's all trial and error, and that's why I like that it's not permanent. And sometimes when you try to clean up just one spot, it would be like just as easy to go ahead and wipe off the whole thing. But I always try to fix that one spot first because I'm just stubborn like that. And then I'm like, ah, just wipe it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Q-tip with some alcohol and let's see. So Debbie Page, how are you? I'm glad you're on here. Look, see, I don't even need to mess with it. I just need to take it off. All right. Start over. And see how I was running out of room? If I do it this way, I can probably put lettering books on both sides. can't see me that good. Is the red hard to see for y'all? Okay, what can I put about signing their books? Lettering books. Okay, how can I write that? Lettering books. Elizabeth, are you still here? Lettering books signed. Here? <laughs> Lettering books. Because some people want to know, if you weren't here, here earlier, a lot of people don't know that it's my book. And so if they see something like signed here or something like that, they know it's me and not just a random book that someone's put on a table for sale. So that helps. Because I, I mean, for me, if I see someone, I know it's their work. It, I, I admire it more. I want to know more about it or more about them. I don't know if it's blurry to y'all, but it's very blurry on my computer. 
glittering. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what else to write. What else should I write? Okay, now I have a thought on this one. I know, they're great. They are great. Okay, anyone can learn to hand letter. Because a ton of people will say, but I can't. Okay, so the green one, I'm going to go back and see if the green one has dried yet so we can do a little bit of highlighting on it. And I'll come back to that one too, but a little bit of green. See how it was like, eh, just red. Now a little bit of green really helps. Okay, so we'll come back to this one. I can leave them like that, but if I wanted to add a little bit of a little bit of veins in there, I could. Just gonna go. Feel like that better? Huh? <laughs> Debbie, you are not kidding. I need to tell mine that too. I bet they just you know they see so many packages. I wonder if they hate Amazon. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh-oh. Because I can understand if they do. So, I like to put out... Do y'all do this? Um, last year, I even gave people... I had a, I gave a printable for people. And I'll do it again this year. Um, oh, I made this too thick. For, to put um, like treats out on the porch for your mail carrier and I do that every year they love it see I like this better that one's just too thick I may have to wipe that off anyway for their mail carrier um, just on the porch put a little basket put some drinks and some snacks in there and then I have this printable you can print out that says something about I don't know thanks for all you do take a snack <laughs> a little bit a little bit fancier than that but um yeah so anyway be looking for that because that's gonna be fun I it just makes my day to know that they may feel appreciative appreciated oh oh and then one day this was so fun last year so last year well, we got the ring doorbell last year and um I don't always look at it but this one day I looked to see if anybody had taken any snacks and I saw that someone did. So I got on there and I watched the ring thing and it was a UPS guy and he goes, thank you to the doorbell, it was so cute. It was so cute. You know, most people don't do that, but that was so cute. I wish I had that. I would love to post that just so people could, you know, see the joy. Anyway, so do y'all do that? I wanna know if y'all um, already do that. 
Am I the last person to ever do that? I've done it for a few years, but I always think, do they just get this all the time and it's not a big deal? Surely it is a big deal. Okay. That's better, right? And I'm going to go back to this one when it's dry. I might just go ahead and help it dry a little bit. Anyway, so if y'all make some cute little mugs, I meant mugs, if y'all make some cute little signs, you'll have to post them and show me. This is sounding really bad. Before it hardly had any noise at all. Debbie, that cracks me up. So funny. It's kind of a sad day when I don't get mail. Do y'all feel that way? Like boxes. And that, since I do work from home, I order a lot of supplies through the mail too for my work. But it's stuff like this. <laughs> and so I can't wait to get my office supplies. That one's a little thick too, but I think I can handle that one. This one was way too thick. So sometimes when you pump and prime your marker, it gets a little thick, but. Okay, I'm gonna give it some more time. But I'm gonna go ahead and highlight these little, ooh, that's hot, these little berries. So I don't forget. Just those little highlights make all the difference in the world. Okay, ow. <laughs> Here's a little tip. Don't put your thumb in between here and close it because it hurts. It hurts. Okay, so we're going to see if this is dry. I think that's dry. I think the other one I just had super, super thick. Oh, that's so thick. Yeah. They do have a thinner set of markers, which I probably should check into. But surely no one's going to judge me, right? I don't even know if I'm online anymore because it's just spinning and I don't have any comments so if you're still there speak now or forever hmm that's so weird it says there's 78 comments there's no way I've seen 78 comments I don't know, maybe I missed some. So I apologize if I missed any of your comments. It won't show me. I'll go back and look after though if you have any questions or anything. Okay, anyone can learn to hand letter. Yes, you can. I like it. I like that one. Okay, but I need help on the one where lettering books and also have a bundle. Lettering books. Here I go erasing again. I know I should do this on paper first. I know what y'all are thinking. Why didn't you just write that on paper? Because I'm not a preparer planner very well. I like to just do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll plan it out this time. Okay, guys, I am going to say good night. If y'all have any questions about anything, just leave me a comment and I will reply to you there.
So I hope if you're up at three in the morning, you message me so we can talk. Now I'm going to be in bed. Oh, let me tell you about this app real quick. Okay. There is the greatest app for someone like me who has troubles simmering down, settling down for the evening because that's when I wake up. I mean, I just do. It's, it's when I come to life and it's not because of my coffee because I don't normally do coffee. I just felt like tonight, well, I didn't drink that much. Anyway, there's this app called Abide and someone told me about it for like a devotional, which is great. So I've used it a few times for a devotional. I like it. But the other day at night, well, a couple weeks ago, I was like, I looked at it and I was like, wait, this is something about sleep. So I hit the sleep button and it tells you, it helps you go to sleep. So it's like, relax. It's like a little, kind of a meditation, but it's um, biblical. It talks about scripture and all kinds of stuff. And so that is helping me go to sleep every night. It helps so much. You put your phone right by your pillow. It tells you to take a deep breath. Get rid of all your distractions and all that stuff. And it really, really works for me. So it's helping me a lot. I hope that you guys will give it a try. Um, it has a free trial. I normally don't buy apps. I just don't. I don't. I, I don't. But I ended up buying this one for ten dollars. It is worth it to help me relax and go to sleep. So, and you know, I do like. I even. I used to be really good at praying before I went to sleep, and I would pray, pray myself to sleep, basically. And my mind won't even settle down for that these days. I don't know why, but this really helps me get myself straight. <laughs> and. Um, it's really cool how the scriptures kind of play out to what you're thinking, what, what's going on in your life. You know how that happens. It's pretty neat. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you for visiting with me over some coffee chat. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Leave some comments if you have any questions about anything and I will catch you 